<laughs> hey everybody, Joy here. Look where I am. Does it look like it's the middle of summer out here or what? No leaves on the trees. It is Christmas Eve, my friends, 2021. <laughs> it is going to be like 80 today. The guys are over in the barn getting the boat ready to go out on the lake, which is a marvelous Christmas present that God has given my husband. His brother is here, and there, and he feels wonderful, and um, they're going to go out on the lake together today. So I am so, so excited. Yes, and I'm putting lotion on my dry hands and lotion on my dry face. <laughs> Boy, in the wintertime with the heat on in the house, I can put this lotion on every 10 minutes, I tell you. It's just amazing how dry your skin gets. And I know if I swing, it's going to make somebody dizzy. So did you see my pillow? Look, look, look. See my pillows? I got them both done. These chairs are so deep that if you scoot your rear end all the way back to the back, your legs just stick straight out. <laughs> and so you can't swing because you can't touch the ground. So I've always had pillows. Oh, look at the little breeze. Hey, our eagle's back. I didn't tell you our eagle is back. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I saw him the other day. I took a picture. Here's a picture right here. So, I have named him Ernie. It might be a her. If it's a her, it's Ernestine. But, oh my gosh, a big beautiful eagle. And it, it sits in our front yard, in our grass in our front yard in the morning. And I've tried to get an up-close picture, but I open the door and that eagle hears it or sees it or something, and he flies off into the trees. So the picture that you just saw is him flying, so, I mean, you can't tell his head from his tail. But one of these days, I'm going to sneak up on that boy, and I'm going to get a close-up picture. I told, I told the guys this morning, I said, go kill a rabbit or a squirrel, and we'll go put him out in the yard, and then the eagle will come to eat it. And Donnie said, they don't eat dead things, Joy. I said, well, they just cripple it. It's like, oh my gosh, there's so many dead animals. I was kidding. I was kidding. Maybe a rat. Maybe a snake. A snake. You wouldn't mind if we crippled a snake, would you? We got them all here. We have a big old bobcat back here. He somehow got inside our fence, and he couldn't get out. And so he was wandering back and forth yesterday. And if you see some pink flags, that's to mark the sprinklers because my husband just put a bunch of grass seed and dirt back here. So pardon the pink flags. <laughs> but anyway, we have a bobcat and we have eagle. And we have lots and lots of squirrels and we have armadillos. And um, just about every kind of animal is, is here in the woods, of course. So, and we have a fence because we used to have our two doggies, remember? Jackie and Josie. Oh, we love those dogs, but Josie was so smart, she kept digging and getting away out of the fence. And when you get down to the lake, which is right down the hill here, um, you just get so dirty. <laughs> those dogs used to come back so dirty and full of stickers and everything else. So anyway, we don't have any pets now because we have an RV and RVs and pets, although everybody we see in an RV has a pet or two pets. But we're just not, I'm not into getting up early and taking a dog for a walk. It's not going to happen. Uh, if I have a dog, he's going to wake up in the backyard and he's going to walk himself. So that's how I feel about it. And that's how Jerry feels about it. So maybe one of these days, you know, we're getting up there in years. And if we decide the RV is too much for us and we just stay here all the time, I will definitely get one or two more dogs. Because I love a dog. I love a dog. You want to see a picture of me with my dog when I was young? Yeah, I just found it the other day. It's a picture of me. My mother made what I'm wearing. My mother made almost all our clothes then, and we were going to church camp. And so mother made me this outfit to go to church camp with, and it was one of my favorite of all time. I will never forget it. I love it, love it, love it. And uh, I happened to be wearing it in this picture with my dog. The dogs were always my dogs, and my dogs were always named Jolly because everything had to have a J name at our house. There's Joy, Janice, Judy, James, Jack, who died at six months before he was born. And so that was five J's. And so we named all of our pets J's. Um, we had uh, a bird named Jabber and um, 
all of the dogs, the dogs were always mine, and they were always, you know, strays that I would take in. Most of them were half Collie, half German Shepherd, so there was some love affair going on in our neighborhood somewhere. <laughs> and then most of the dogs got hit by a car because we didn't have a fence. And But anyway, I loved them, loved them, and Mom let me have them in the house for a few minutes once in a while. So, yeah, that was a picture of me then, and um, did your mother teach you to sew? No. No, mother did not teach us to sew. In fact, she must have sewn while we were at school because I never even saw her sew that much. And she sewed her clothes, and she sewed all of our clothes. She, she was amazing. She was an excellent seamstress, but did not teach us to sew. We learned in high school, all three of us girls. So I decided, since I had the album out, to go ahead and show you some more pictures of my mother sewing. Here's her first three kids. Me on the left, Joy, my sister Janice, who was born cross-eyed in the middle, and the angel, Judy, who looked just perfectly angelic, and so mother spoiled her so much. <laughs> but she made all our clothes when we were those ages. And here I am, about 16 years old, with my hair as high as the sky because that was the style and the only way I got it there was to tease it and tease it and tease it and tease it <laughs> and I had to put those brush hair curlers in my hair every single night oh my goodness did I work to get my hair up like that and here I am this is an Easter in our backyard and uh, mother made our Easter dresses. I'm sure there's a picture of Janice and Judy also, but this is me and my mother, and that dress she made me, the fabric was soft and silky and just gorgeous. I love that dress, and mother's dress is so pretty. Probably wearing mother's jewelry here. And this was, believe it or not, an eighth grade graduation dress. It looks like I'm about to get married for heaven's sakes. <laughs> but that's the way they did back then. Everybody was dressed up. And my mother not only made my dress, she made my friend's dress. Because mother just sewed so beautifully. And again, probably her jewelry. I never had any earrings. So, the guys are going fishing. So that gives me, it's almost, it's 11.15. So that gives me the afternoon to do whatever I want to do. And why do you keep moving? Because I'm in a swing. If I wasn't talking to you, I would be swinging as far forward and back as I could go. I love swinging. Love it. <laughs> I also love to sit in this swing sideways. You want to see? I'm sure you don't. But remember how I did my pillows weird? And so the pattern goes up and down this way. So a lot of times I sit in the swing sideways like this. And so I sit in the swing sideways. So I figure if I sit in the swing like this, then the pillows made perfect, don't you think? I need to make a bunch more of them. I thought, who could I make a pillowcase for? Probably nobody. You know, everybody likes their own fabrics and their own styles. And you know, you don't want to make somebody butterflies when they'd rather have vultures or or spiders or snakes or something. Some people do. I don't know how many beautiful young girls. Just makes me want to cry. I don't know how many I have seen with skulls on their arms. Skulls. I have seen them with skulls with teeth, skulls with teeth with blood on women. And snakes. Snakes. Oh, to me it's just such evil things that I don't know why people want that to have anything to do with that. Now I see the sun shining on one side of me and none on the other, so I'm probably totally in the shadows here. Can I swing for just a second? Close your eyes. Don't watch. You people who pass out from motion. <laughs> I told you one time how Philly surprised me one time. And she came over to my house. We were supposed to just have lunch and she was supposed to go back to work. But we went back to the house, and I said, well, okay, got to go back to work. She said, no, I don't. I took the afternoon off to spend it with you. And I was so excited. I picked her up, and I spun her around. I thought she was going to pass out. <laughs> Poor Philly. She's like, I need to get a normal friend. <laughs> All right. 
I am just another day in my life and this happens to be Christmas Eve. So um, hopefully my blouse is on straight. This blouse has um, things, you know, layers. And since I'm too chubby right now, the layers want to keep on curling up. So pardon me if they didn't lay right. Yes, I've gained my 10 pounds that I lost. Obviously, I've gained it all back and it all comes right here in the form of an inner tube. I hate it. So I decided the minute Christmas is over, in fact, already, I'm not making any pies. Uh, if I do, um, I'll serve the pies tomorrow and freeze it or throw it away at the end of the day. Um, no more eggnog. Oh, I love eggnog. Oh, how I love eggnog. But, oh my gosh, 210 calories in a half cup. Oh my. So I drank about half of, it's like a gallon of milk, half gallon of milk. And I drank it about halfway down over four or five days. And uh, I thought, my gosh, I'm getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm starting to look like there's a hot air balloon in my pants. So I looked at the uh, label on the side of the eggnog. 210 calories in a half a cup. Jerry doesn't drink it. I don't know why. So that's fixing to go down the drain, whatever's left of it. I can't have any more of that. I can't have any more. Um, what are those things they give you at the Mexican restaurant? We've been eating at this Mexican restaurant for 10, 12, 15 years, ever since it came here. And um, we had never, ever, ever had a sopapilla there. I didn't know they even had sopapillas there. But a few months ago, we saw somebody get one. And I went, what's that? Michelle said, that's our sopapilla. I said, oh my gosh, I've got to have one. Her sopapillas are as big as a small pillow, I'm telling you. And so Jerry and I cut it in half. And you know, they come covered and sprinkled with sugar and cinnamon or maybe just sugar. And then they bring you honey and then you put the honey on it. So in the last few months, I've probably had half of three of those. Here they are right here. Oh, so. We're going back to my DESM diet, and I will lose this again because I am not getting into a bigger size. However, the pants I have on now are an XL, but they're stretchy fabric pull-on. <laughs> so anyway, it's fixing to be gone. I cannot stand it when I look at myself in a mirror when I'm sewing, and I've got an inner tube over here. I just can't stand it. I don't care what age I am. My mother was 90, and she had a lovely shape. She really did. She had a flat tummy. She had a waistline. She was as cute as she could be. I think the guys are back in the kitchen, so I better go see if they're ready to go fishing or if they want some lunch or what. I'll be back in just a second. And out here is where you saw the eagle the other day. He sat like right over here in the grass, and then he jumps up and flies away over to those trees across the pond. Probably over there now. So let's go over here to the RV. <laughs> All right, it's windy out today. Very warm, but windy. All right, well, here we are in the RV. Back there's our bedroom with the accent lights on. And here's my bar that holds the freezer shut. The last thing we have to fix, which we probably won't, is the freezer. We found out the oddest way that the reason the freezer was always full of icicles is because every time we opened and closed the refrigerator, it popped the freezer open and it wasn't sealed. And so the freezer wouldn't stay shut. So I put this curtain rod up there <laughs> to hold it shut. We have a short one and a long one for driving or not driving. I can walk under it. And so here's the bedroom. I just love it in here, as you all know. Hello! Where do I need to make some pillows? Raise your hand if you know. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I have got to make some pillows for in here. Only I like the slick ones. I like the shiny, silky ones. And cotton doesn't come that way, of course. So why am I here? Why did you take us over there, Joy? Because I was here studying my pattern yesterday. And did you see my little Christmas tree? Oh my gosh, it's too light to show you. It's too light to show you. But when I'm over here, I light up my little Christmas tree. Let me see if I can turn it on so you can see it. Yes, the little nativity is from a friend of mine, and I adore it. She said, you need something little for your... 
RV. I don't think you can see the lights. Hold on. Now can you see the lights? I'll have to bring you over here at nighttime so you can see my little Christmas tree lit up. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Look at the little nativity. Isn't it precious? Yes, from a dear, dear friend who knows I love Jesus. Okay, so here's what I'm fixing to do. I am fixing to make this. So I sat here yesterday and studied the pattern. And I colored in the one I'm going to make. Because that's what I'm going to make. I'm making the one with the square collar. And I'm going to make it out of fleece. And it's supposed to be stretchy. And I think fleece is stretchy, but I'm not positive about that. So let's go back home and find that fleece, huh? You want to do that? So this is what I was going to make this out of, and I might still. This fleece right here. But guess what? Fleece doesn't stretch. And this calls for stretchy fabric. So, what am I going to do next? I'm going to go get my pattern book I made for jackets and toppers. And I'm going to see if I have a different pattern I can use. You want to help me? Let me get it. So here it is. Toppers and coats, bottoms, dresses, sleep and lingerie, and children's. And I have tabs inside. So let's see if we can find a coat pattern in here that doesn't have to be stretch. Toppers and coats. Yeah. Let's look. So I just have these in here by picture. They're not in here by number order or anything. But then I have all my patterns filed in boxes and they are in order by number. So what I'm going to do is look through here and see. That's a cute one. Let me show you what I find to see if it's cute. Now the thing is that in my pattern book here, I only copied the front of the pattern. I didn't copy the back of it. So I can't see if it's stretch or not stretch. So I'm going to walk over to my box and I'm going to pull it out. You want to watch? <laughs> Probably not. All right, so we're going to pull. Why am I in that box? Oh, because that's the wrong pattern. We're looking for 1719. 1719. 1719. One, one, so, here it is. And so the back of it says, fleece, fleece. It says fleece, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> so we certainly can use this. And how cute is it? And they have a version that's to the knees. I really don't want that much fullness in the bottom of it, though. I don't want to mess with all that extra fabric if I don't have to. Let's see. Now, that's a nice coat there. Um... It's got pockets. Oh, I always love pockets. And it has a big round collar or no collar. Let's see if you can make that one out of fleece. This is 1067. 1067. 1067. 1067. So we have to look at the back and see what kind of fabric. And it says... Oh, my goodness, it says fleece. It says fleece. Ha <laughs> ha. Fleece duty. So what do you think? I like that. I like it with the belt. I love the pockets. Oh, my. And there you don't have to have the great big collar. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm going to have to make that. Let me see what else we've got. Might be a little bit easier. And so I have just about every pattern made. You know, I already made something out of this fabric once. Now that looks like an easy one. And it's a raglan sleeve. Let's see, it says easy. Oh yeah, you love easy when you're trying to make it on Christmas Eve, huh? But it's just a short one. It's a short one. I kind of want a long one. But I'm sure you can make that out of fleece. But oh my gosh, how easy and fast would that be? And I could always lengthen it. So this is the final answer. Simplicity 8218, and I'm going to make that one. I color in the one that I'm going to make, and I can put a hot iron on that, and that'll all go away instantly. But I want to remember I'm making view A, and I'm making it with fleece that doesn't ravel, and it says that you can use fleece for this pattern, and look at those raglan sleeves. You cannot get easier than that. Am I going to put an FBA? No. 
In this case, I need to put a belly roll. A FBA. It's still an FBA, but it's a full belly adjustment. <laughs> I'll put the paper together and try it on and see what we get. But right now I'm going to go change my clothes because this green top is getting too snug. And I don't like to be, be kind of dressy when I'm sewing, so I'm going to go get comfy. I'll be back. Why don't you use your SureFit design? Because this is just a coat. It's uh, got lots of fullness in it. And the pattern's already drawn, so why should I go to the trouble of doing the dot to dot and drawing my own pattern? So this is 8218. So what you have to do, Sue, is look at your paper. Look at your paper, and I'll come over there and look at it with you. View A. So I'm going to come over here to the list, list of the parts in the pattern. For view A, come down here to where you're going to make the view A jacket. It says AB jacket, right? And look at that. Look at the only pieces that we're going to have to have. AB jacket. So we're going to need pieces one, two, three, and four. It also says AB interfacing. Use piece four. And you're going to need that for the collar. So we're going to use piece four for the interfacing. And we're going to use piece one, two, three, four that we're going to cut out of the fleece. Joy, you're not holding it in the right place. We're going to use pieces one, two, three, four with the nap, and this does have a nap. Nap just means what way the fuzz goes. And the interfacing use piece four. All right? And we are going to end up with that jacket that's now yellow. The top I'm wearing is a Peggy Sagers pattern. Probably her cow neck since it's a cow neck. All right, so we are going to circle piece one. Piece two. What is piece two? Piece two is there is no piece two. How goofy is that? There's no piece two, y'all. Sometimes you have to figure stuff out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look here. There's a two floating around and a seven floating around. I'm going to assume that the two goes with this and the seven goes with that. But I'll look at the description of the pieces over here. It says two is a pocket. So I can look at this and see that two is a pocket. So that's a two and that's a seven. Sometimes the numbers are just floating around in thin air. So I need number one. I need number two, which is the pocket. So I'm going to circle that. I need number three which is the back, and I need number four, which is the facing and upper collar. Okay, four pieces, that's it. How super simple. Now this is what I do, and I've been sewing for 60 years. Yeah, but it's you can get so confused, and you can cut out the wrong piece, I and mean, when you've got this thing folded out into great big pieces of pattern pieces, it's easy to get them confused. So I always make sure at the very beginning that I know how many pieces I need to cut out. So I have found piece number one. There it is. So I'm going to put this away for now. You can throw things on the floor. Yes, I do. My floor is semi-clean. I vacuum it. So now I'm going to use my rotary cutter. And I'm going to rough cut out piece number one. I'm just going to rough cut it for right now because I just want to get rid of a whole bunch of this paper. So I've got my four pieces cut out in paper. Now I'm just going to trim these paper patterns down.
to trim the back like you just saw me trim the other two. Then I'm going to pin the paper together like as if I was sewing the material. And then I'm going to go try it on in the mirror and then I'll put the camera back on, okay? This thing is gigantic. <laughs> the paper's gigantic. If the paper's gigantic, fabric moves a lot more than paper does. It's giant. Just giant. How come I didn't get it pinned in here? Well, even if I didn't, it's still giant right there. See? Here, from here to here, here to here is just huge. <laughs> so what is this telling us? <laughs> this is telling us I can definitely make a size smaller. The back, I can't see the back yet because I'm not in the right mirror. But there's the back. There's the front. There's the back. Let me go in here in my other mirror. You want to follow me? Oh, my goodness. Huge. Just huge. Oh, let me get the back where it goes. Hold on. Let me get the back re rearranged. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. <laughs> now, in my hip, at my hip, I don't know. I think I might like it at my hip. And at my waist. It might be okay. So center front is right here. There's my center front. Center front definitely reaches. And in the back, let me get my mirror out. In the back, it definitely reaches to my center back. The center front definitely reaches to my center front. But I think the sleeve is way too big I can pinch, oh my goodness, six inches. I can pinch six inches. Now remember, I have a little arm, little upper chest. So I definitely can make a size smaller, even up through my bust. My goodness sakes, a lot. <laughs> this is a coat. You have to remember, a coat's supposed to be bigger, but good grief, it doesn't have to be big enough to fit a house. I'm just going to cut off. I've got a large here, so I'll go down to the medium until I get to the hip. And I'm going to make a note that the waist, and of course the waist doesn't matter. There's not really a waist on this. This is a lot of paper to arrange on your body, people. <laughs> but we're going into a medium until we get to the waist. That's my final answer. Well, I have cut everything down to a medium except for the hip. So, center front, right here. Let me turn around and get the back. The back is there. Are we going to need a round back? I think maybe a hair. The waist is right on. I don't even think it needs a round back. Goodness, it is looking good. I guess they make coats full enough that you don't have to do all those adjustments. My goodness, wouldn't that be nice? Now here's the main one I usually have to do. This could gap a lot on me. But, either because it's paper, it's not gapping, or because I cut a medium, it's not gapping. Yeah, so I think it's ready. I think this baby's ready. Plenty of room in the hip. Now look here under my arm. How much less paper is underneath there for me to fold my arm? and get in my pocket and all of that. Well, the facing, it touches down here at the notches, but the facing is 5 8 inch bigger all the way down to these notches. Look at that. And so I just figured I made a mistake. I went through all the garbage. I made total, total sure. I cut a medium, cut a medium. They're both mediums. They line up at the notches, they line up at the notch down here, but for some reason this curve is bigger. And it says to ease it, it says to put stitches in it and kind of gather it. So maybe that shrinks it to be the same size, I don't know. <laughs> but um, I'm going to have to assume that the pattern's correct, since I know I didn't make a mistake. And because you can see if I sew this seam together right here, this is going to stick out this much, 5 8 inch. But maybe if it's all gathered up, they tell you to gather this edge right here, all gathered up. It says it's eased. So maybe when it's gathered up, 
probably said that three times. It'll come in, you know, where it's supposed to be. If it doesn't, I'm chopping the thing off. <laughs> so I'm going to go cut it out. I'll be back. <laughs> so let's get back to yesterday, Christmas Eve, when I was making the never-ending video. I was going to do this last night and finish that video for you, the one that you're watching right now. But Jerry came upstairs and he said, we want you downstairs with us. And I said, why? Don't you want to be alone with your brother? <laughs> we want you down there with us. So I had to quit. So now Christmas is over with. The guys are outside loading a washing machine from our house in Edmond. Donnie needs a washing machine and so I'm giving him my washer and dryer from my house in Edmond. So they're loading it. So this coat is awesome. It is all done. Jerry said, well, that's not going to be very warm. Well, it doesn't get very cold where we live. It's 80 degrees outside right now. <laughs> and it's Christmas. Guys, this is a medium. And there's threads hanging in lots of places, various and sundry. The sleeves are fine. They're a little long if they were a blouse, but I like them long for a jacket. And I love the pockets. I took one, one fitting correction. And it was the sway back. Because if I don't do the sway back, the side seam comes way forward on me like that. So I did the sway back. Didn't do a round back, didn't do an FBA. And you can see I don't need an FBA. I could put way, I could put Dolly Parton boobs in this top here. <laughs> so the hardest part of a shawl collar is that funky little dot at the shoulder where you go straight into the dot and then you do a 90 degree turn and go the other way and the two pieces never want to line up right. So Peggy says just sew it somehow and nobody will ever know it. What do you think? I think it's just awesome. I love this fabric. Fortunately I had just enough because I had to cut this out lengthwise. It wasn't wide enough widthwise to cut this out. So fortunately I had about three yards left of it. So I am just liking this so much. The only piece I have left is the facing that I'll sew around. It finishes this edge. You can see there's the notch, see? You see on my white blouse the notch? And yes, probably some of the Christmas ham on my blouse too. <laughs> so here's the thing. This is Christmas Day 2021. This morning we made a video for shine and I think you all will enjoy it. If you want to check out Joy Bernhardt Shine, my devotion channel, you can go over there and you can see the video that we made this morning. It was very, very um, miraculous. Nothing short of miraculous. And for those of you who have been praying for, our, for a certain situation, I want you to see how God is answering your prayers. Hey, the snaps. Remember? Remember the cord snaps? Donnie opened his. He's like, what the heck is this? <laughs> but Jerry opened it and knew what it was, and, and we told Don, and so they were a big hit. So, hey, make some cord snaps. They were fun. See, remember? You make the little bow tie thing, and then you poke a hole in each end, and then you put a snap. Um, Donnie said, they look like a little fish. <laughs> so... And yes, I'll show you what I got for Christmas in another video, okay? Because this one's long enough, and uh, Christmas is over now anyway. So, whatever pattern I told you this was, it still is. I'll be back soon.